Welcome back guys. In this video, I will demonstrate you how we can create a key store, how we can create our own certificate and how we can sign that certificate using our own certificate authority. To proceed with the demo, I have already downloaded the open SSL client. So I navigate to this particular folder and I'll right click on this open SSL.exe file and I'll run this file as an administrator so that we don't face any issue registering or creating our own certificate which we will be doing via a few commands so I have written those all those commands in a notepad so that I don't have to waste much time on writing those commands in front of you but obviously I will be explaining all those commands so the first command which I am having is this one which I need to run from this open SSL command form So here what I am doing is I have given the path of this uh, CNF file which is required to create my certificate. This first command will be used for creating my certificate. It will uh, uh, generate a key and the certificate uh, while also specifying the number of days the certificate is valid for. Uh, so let me just click enter and it will be asking me uh, a couple of questions like what will be the password for my certificate. So I'll random any, uh, sorry, I'll enter any random password now. So uh, it is asking for a couple of queries which uh, I need to answer whether I'm registering the certificate uh, as a, an individual user or for a particular organization. So. Right now I'm in India. So I can enter any data over here. I'm a developer, so I'm writing the organizational unit as dev. Common name can be an individual name or your domain name as well okay so let me write this email address can be anything abc at the com. so my certificate is created now as we can see in the back end the key for the certificate and the certificate itself is generated so this is the key which is generated this is the private key for the certificate actually and this is the public key for the certificate now to sign this certificate which is generated over here I will have to run a few commands from the command prompt instead of SSL utility so I will go to my command prompt and I will jump on to my second command which is creating a key store and while creating the key store we also have the luxury to specify which algorithm my key store certificate should work on since uh, so in this case I am using RSA algorithm if you can see the last part hyphen key ALG is written so I am specifying the algorithm as RSA and my key store name is client key store and the alias name which I am using for my client key store is client. I press enter. So it is asking me for some password which I need to give since I am registering my certificate. is asking for the first name and last name any random name I can give for now so here if you say no whatever we have done till now will be closed so if I say yes, my certificate will be registered, my key store will be registered.
so again it is asking me for uh, uh, to uh, enter a password if i want my key store password to be used uh, as the key password then i should simply press enter or i should enter a new password over here so i just click on enter without entering any new password now i'll go ahead and, and execute my third command from the command prompt itself so this particular uh, request will generate a csr file for my client uh, key store key store which i created in my previous command using my previous command so uh, once i click enter uh, the csr file will be generated after i give the correct password which i have set in my previous step okay now if i check back in the folder my csr file should be generated over there so this is the csr file which is generated now using that csr file i will execute this fourth command in the open SSL utility so it is asking me for the passphrase which I gave in my first step so this is done Coming to the fourth part. Now, in this particular uh, step, what I am going to do is I am importing the certificate which I have created. Uh, as I already mentioned, my certificate is in CA certificate PEM.txt file. I am importing that certificate into my key store which I created in the second step. So I will enter the password. So again, it is asking me whenever we are importing any certificate into into the key store, it will ask again and again uh, whether you trust the certificate or not. If you say no, the certificate will not be added to the key store. If you say yes, certificate will be added. Okay. So now in my last step I will be uh, using uh, the client CSR file and the certificate uh, which I have uh, gen already generated I am using that uh, certificate and importing that into my key store. So if you can uh, see in this particular folder there is a certificate generated because of the previous step client.cer this time I'm going to add that to my key store again I need to enter the password so certificate was successfully added into the key store okay so uh, I think you guys might be confused at what we did in the previous step and what is different in this particular step so what we did in the previous step was just adding a certificate to the uh, key store but in the second step what we did we imported a signed certificate of into the key store this is what is different from the previous step for any queries you guys can post your comments into the comment box and i'll be posting all the commands in along with the video so let me know if you have any doubts so, so that i can help you and thank you for watching.